show you an example of an interactive notebook. Now I have uh, some student examples, um, but because of privacy sake, I can't show everything because it has their video of them talking, pictures and stuff like that. So that's why I'm showing you one that I made along with my daughter, um, just so you can get an example of what it could look like. Now, um, in the product that I made, I've included templates. So you'd actually get the templates that look like this, that are blank, that students can add their text on top of it, or their video, or their audio, however they wanted to do that. So you would get all of these templates. So you get the one for summarizing, for um, story mapping, for character analysis. You'd also get one for vocabulary, as well as point of view and um, also looking at illustrations and words and how the scenes and illustrations help you um, deepen your understanding of the story and then analyzing themes, settings, and plots just by comparing two different stories or characters or whatever. So all of those um, graphic organizers are in there where you could use them for the Book Creator app or you could just, they could write on them. So you don't have to have iPads to do this. Um, it's just more fun when you do. So just as an example, let me go back and show you. Um, Book Creator allows you to add images. That's what this is. It's an image file. So students could add their own images. They could add their own text. They can change um, the backgrounds, the color um, of the text. Um, they can change the font, so it's really nice, cool. Um, they can also add video, whether it be video that they've created in Book Creator, which usually if that's the video, they're video recording themselves or someone else. This is an example of Puppet Pals. So students could actually save their Puppet Pal to the um, camera roll and then add, add this to Book Creator. Now, just as you, so you know, this is the paid version of Puppet Pals to allow you to um, do this with other characters. So when they push play, it would actually... Once upon a time, um, a long time ago, the there lived out. a beautiful maiden named Medusa. Bigger, like this. Medusa was considered the most lovely girl in all of and Athens. So that's what it's like. Um, so this is just, as they're going through the unit, they are asked to write a summary, then they're asked to create a retelling of it, add it to their template in Book Creator. Um, then you've got, uh, of course, you can do um, character traits or character analysis of the characters. You can use pick collage, which is what this is, of the um, different vocabulary in the story. You can also do um, this video is called from Chatterpix app, and it's the point of view of the character. So characters have different points of view. Here's just an example. Medusa had to be taught a lesson. Her conceited pride was way over the top. She dare come into my temple and talk to me like that? Now you'll notice that the mouth of the character is moving. <coughs> Excuse me, which is why this is such a fun app. It only allows for 30 seconds of video, but that's typically long enough for students to really give their point of view and um, or explain their thinking in some way, which is nice. Um, I'm going to show you a better example of illustrations here um, in this example uh, where a student took a picture of the book and then they wrote the words and then they explain their thank you. This picture audio. is of Achilles during the Trojan War. Now, notice that the background is not the cute little template that I have. The reason for that is this particular teacher that I was working with, they did not have access to internet. So it made it very difficult for them to use the iPads and do all of the things that you could do with them. Um, so what she did is she had the kids just take a picture of the graphic organizer from the smart board and then they could use that on to the book creator. Um, of course you could just give them the, 
the um, graphic organizer and they could take a picture at their desk, um, things like that. But notice that in Book Creator it allows you to have audio as well and video, but I'm not going to be able to show you the video because it has students' pictures. So there you have it. This is Book Creator and how you can make this as an interactive notebook. Um, using other apps um, and using the Book Creator app as well. It's a great way to organize everyone's thoughts and to um, have a really nice book at the end that students can be proud of.